Now they are working to uh, draw in the outside power source and they hope to restore electricity by the end of today. And also Tokyo Fire Department will again discharge water in order to cool down number three reactor and the self-defense force official said that to number four reactor the STF will discharge water from the ground. At Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant the functions uh, to cool the water in of the nuclear fuel storage pool has been lost and if the situation continues large amounts of radioactive substances could leak out and TEPCO would, is now trying to restore the uh, safety device to cool down the nuclear reactors and they hope to recover the outside power source which had suspended after the earthquake and right now working to draw in the outside electricity directly into the power plant uh, compound and for number one and number two reactors they want to get the uh, electricity from the power transmission line of Tohoku Electric um, power company and hope to have electricity by the end of today and as for number three and number four reactors they are going to utilize the electric wires which is supposed to send out the electricity uh, from the power plant but use this to get uh, electricity and today they will connect the uh, converters of the number four reactor and cables to have electricity however even though the outside power source is recovered many of the devices have been submerged in the seawater so they need to first confirm that um, the device can function and also in order to cool down number three reactor the Tokyo Fire Department uh, shortly after midnight discharged water for about 20 minutes using the seawater and it is estimated that 60 tons of seawater was discharged, discharged and Tokyo Fire Department will also discharge water at shortly after 1.30 p.m. today and the replacement of the Tokyo Fire Department unit um, gathered in uh, Moria and there are about 100 of the member units, unit members and the uh, captain says that this is the elite of the Tokyo Fire Department and since this operation will be done within the radiations um, the safety must be ensured but he says he wants to meet the expectations of the people the unit members left uh, towards Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant shortly before 8 a.m. and also the self-defense force official said to NHK that to number four reactor the SDF will discharge water from the ground Meanwhile, Tokyo Electric Power Company says that uh, one uh, emergency diesel generator of number six reactor has restored and by using this, the function to um, send pool, uh, water to the uh, fuel storage pool in number five and number six reactors have re um, recovered. And the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency gave uh, detailed instructions to people living within the 20 to 30 kilometers radius uh, from the power plant and the things that they should uh, take care of is that to use cars rather than walk when uh, go outside wear masks and not to expose their skins and not to be wet by the rain and this is in response to people's concern that they feel fearful when they um, ha have to go outside for example for shopping and the safety agency official says that it doesn't mean that they cannot uh, completely go outside we ask that the experts opinion the professor Sakimura of the Tokyo University and uh, Mr. Mizuno is our commentator uh, Mr. Mizuno what is the schedule for today for the construction yes in the afternoon the Tokyo Fire Department and SDF is going to resume that uh, spraying operation but the spraying is not sufficient uh, to recover the cooling functions in order to regain the cooling function that uh, we have to supply the, the high volume of the power and that we have to function the pumps for cooling and so that um, there is an operation is going on for a lane that the cable is going on right now up until here that uh, the cables 
are laid by the Tohoku Electric and Power Company, and this is a very high voltage transmission line. And from here, that they have to connect, uh, bring it to the, the control panel. And they have finished uh, that the work this much that the red line. So what they should do or have been doing is that uh, from this yellow portion and this is uh, uh, from this end point of that uh, high um, power volt line, 1.5 um, uh, kilometers of that the cable will be laid. This is just a half day operation in a normal condition. However, the radiation level is very high right now and so that uh, 20 operators are trying to lay the cables and well, some of them are well, about to go over the limit of 100 millisievert, which is a limit of the exposure among the workers. And so the TAPCO is um, uh, lifted uh, that the limit to 150 instead of 100 because it's an emergency situation. And after laying this cable, that the TAPCO would like to uh, restore the electricity to reactor 2 first. Okay, uh, by restoring the, the electricity, uh, which um, equipment uh, will regain its performance? Most promising sign is that the cooling equipment by the supply of the, the power, they have to activate the pump. If the pump starts operating, the ECC, uh, the ele emergency core cooling uh, functions restores and then the uh, large amount of the seawater or the water uh, can be put into the core and also the spent fuel storage pool. Professor Saki Sekimura, and uh, whether that the power is restored, that uh, does this uh, restore the function or does that the uh, danger level go up? Well, um, there is the, probably the seawater is um, Seawater will be used. Seawater is partially uh, conductive, and uh, therefore they are checking whether that the, uh, this conductivity of the seawater may sacrifice uh, the pump functions. Uh, these are that uh, the points that they are checking very carefully. Okay, Mr. Mizno, you mentioned that uh, the level uh, limit of the level of the sea belt or the radiation level was lifted, uh, but are they safe? The, the operators are. Uh, uh, wearing the gauge, radiation gauge, and a cumulative um, that the radiation exe exceed the 100 millisieverts, and then they have to leave that the vicinity. However, that some of them are going over the 100, so that they raise to 150. So long as that they are wearing the gauge, they are managing the gauge of the radiation, uh, so that they have to rotate, so that any one of them will not go over that uh, limit. However, that the radiation level of the, the vicinity is, for example, that uh, after the, the uh, dousing by the, the fire department, that uh, the radiation went up after the dousing. But in some areas, it went down. So that overall radiation level is high. However, it fluctuates. And therefore, that, that the operators and typical uh, workers uh, have to be very careful with the managing of the, the radiation exposure. And Mr. Mizuno also said that uh, the fire department, uh, Tokyo Fire Department, is going to dash the water uh, from 1.30. Uh, yes, that uh, according to the schedule, that it was scheduled in the morning. However, that uh, there is an operation of the restoring the power. It is, it is, is given the priority. And as soon as they come to a certain kind of the milestone, after uh, probably that 1.30, the Tokyo Fire uh, Office is going to spray. And also the SDF, um, the the, uh, the tank, uh, the water cannon trucks is going to spray water to the number four reactor. Aside from the, the SDF or the Tokyo Fire Department, uh, the Osaka Fire Department is going to dispatch their fire water cannon cars. And um, there is uh, the special vehicles of uh, pouring the concrete, the liquid concrete from the air, and uh, these cars are mobilized by the Disaster Prevention Office of the National Government. Professor Sekimura, for number three reactor, the situation of the pool in number three reactor, what is it? Well, the water level of the pool is now very low, or maybe the fuels are exposed in number three, so they have to cool the 
um, fuels and also in order to cool um, secure the function to cool the uh, fuels the radioactive substances within the fuel should be contained so the metal tubes uh, functions must be maintained so you need to, to cool them down so as of uh, 12 30 a.m. 60 tons of water was hosed and how much other water do we need well the capacity of the pool is 1,000 tons so first we have you have to secure the function of cooling down so that's why they're pouring in and trying to inject water and you need to inject water further and the safety agency held a news conference and gave uh, detailed instructions to people living in 20 to 30 kilometers radius for the first time and the residents uh, what should they be careful about well uh, they should refrain from um, going out unless it is urgent and really necessary and when they have to go out 